Good morning, community group leaders and teachers. I hope you're doing well and having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited to introduce this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool that you can have in your tool belt to lead more effectively. Through the month of June, I want to look at some specific areas in which your group can grow, whether, whether your group is scattered with vacations or serving in VBS or serving in a mission trip or somewhere else this summer, or everyone is still in town or, or some of you are in town and some of you are elsewhere. I believe that as we spend some time as groups intentionally diving deep into God and into His Word, we'll, we'll build depth with each other, no matter where we are, whether we're here local or we're scattered uh, across the, the continent and across the globe. There's some great tools that I would suggest as a starting point that maybe you read some of these or you look at some of these as a leader, maybe we even take your group through them. Um, Celebration of Discipline by Richard Foster. This is a devotional classic that I can't recommend highly enough. It, it explores several spiritual disciplines that are worth going through. We'll talk about one of those in, in a minute. Um, the Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. A.W. Tozer has radically impacted me from the grave, just from his writings. And so this is a short book, as you can see. It's really thin, but it's a powerful book. The Spirit of the Disciplines by Dallas Willard. Man, another really, really good book that I can't recommend enough that will help explore several spiritual disciplines and how they can help your group grow and help you grow as individuals. And the last one that I would suggest is this one, Experiencing God by Henry Blackaby. This is another one that's a classic that I can't recommend enough that you and your group explore in some capacity at some point. So today, I wanna to challenge you with, with those books in mind and everything else, one way that may help your group stay on the same page no matter what happens this summer is to literally memorize a passage of the Bible together. Maybe you memorize the Romans Road, where you start thinking through Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, Romans 5.8, and Romans 10, 9 through 10. Maybe you memorize Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11, that we want to be uh, like Christ, who um, was in the image of God, but didn't consider equality with God something to be grasped, you know, so on. Maybe you want to memorize Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9, for it's grace that we've been, it's by grace that we have been saved through faith in Jesus, not by works, so that none can boast. Maybe it's another passage of scripture that, that embodies the vision of your community group. But as you take time to intentionally memorize scripture together, it will do a couple of things for you. Number one, it will literally get you on the same page, where literally you're reciting the same passage. Number two, it hides God's word in your heart and in everyone's heart in your group. The more you get God's word in you, the more God's word wants to get out of you and it wants to impact and encourage other people. Third, it will help everyone feel like they're a part of the group and feel like you're a part of something, whether they're there in person or they're scattered around with, with other things going on. And so my encouragement for this week as you start looking at different ways you can grow your group and you can help keep your group going throughout the summer is practice the spiritual discipline of memorizing scripture as a community group. Great way, great easy pathway to help everyone be on the same page. If you have any questions about this Leadership Minute or anything else, please feel free to reach out to me. You can shoot me a text or an email or, or even simply reply to this, this email that the video is coming through. If you have any questions about that or anything else, let me know. Otherwise, I pray that you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you back here again on campus sometime soon. Hey, blessings, friends.